Sue here from Ithra. Today I'm going to show you how to use the trans-filling hose that we provide to go with our small portable bottles. Um, the hose is made by Mountain High and it looks like this. And it can be used to transfill from a larger size bottle that you have to one of our portable bottles. In this example, it's the 47 liter bottle, but it's applicable to our 152 liter bottle as well. When you receive the bottle, it will be empty unless you buy it from one of our local vendors here in Sun Valley where it will be full. Um, and we offer refills, but you may not be local and perhaps your FBO uh, is not in a cost-effective way to get oxygen um, in this size. Or you may already have a large bottle and you would prefer to fill it yourself. Um, from this size bottle, you can get approximately 15 to 18 fills um, into a bottle of this size. Um, I will show you how to put it all together and how to make it work. So the, the transfilling hose comes uh, in a package like this. You will get some instructions uh, along with the hose. It's very important that you read them and to do this safely. Obviously the oxygen is under pressure so please read the instructions and watch this video uh, to do it safely. Okay, so we can start by uh, taking this large bottle that we have, uh, making sure it's in the off position. Um, this regulator screws off, uh, not under pressure, so we're safe to do this. <clears throat> okay, so we have our regulator off. Um, this transfilling hose comes with a couple of caps on each end so that you can keep dust and critters out. Um, obviously, you don't want that in your tank, so we'll take that part off and screw this on. Now, you want to put this on and hand tighten as much as you can, but then also go a couple of turns with a wrench. So we'll go one and two. That's about it. Okay, so you see there's a little cap on the end of this, the uh, ithra end of the hose. We want to take that off. Again, that's just to protect it. And there is a cap on the end of the ithra bottle where we will be filling. Okay, so make sure you get these lined up. Put it on straight. Okay, you're going to hand tighten, but you do need to go a couple of turns with a wrench. Okay, this one fits. Okay, that's just enough. Okay, so we want to fill this bottle, and what's going to happen when we turn this on is that the pressure from this bottle will match what's on here. So if you only have um, a thousand here, you're only going to get a thousand here, and you want to do this very slowly. Make sure this is off. Okay, there we heard it come on. And you want to wait a couple of seconds, maybe up to a minute, just to allow that to equalize. And then we'll make sure everything's turned off. And now because there's no pressure relief, there will be air coming out of this that's left in this line. So don't be alarmed. Um, when you take this off, you'll, you'll feel that air come out, of course, under pressure, so go slow. Okay, that's it. Okay, now my bottle is filled to 1800 PSI, which is what is in this bottle, and now I have 1800 PSI in here. 
So we'll do everything in the reverse. We'll put the cap back on here. This is ready to use on my outdoor activities or in general aviation. I'm going to put the cap on here for good practice. Okay, that's on. Use my wrench to take this off. Okay, that's off. We'll put our cap back on, store it. Our regulator can go back on, or if you're only using tanks to refill for yourself, you may not have a regulator. That might be a possibility. Okay. So. Okay, so we filled our bottle. We've got more than two hours of use out of this uh, in our outdoor activity or in general aviation, and we've barely taken anything out of this larger tank so you could see how it would be a nice advantage to be able to self-fill these portable bottles from one that you have at home or in your hangar. Um, if you have any questions you can reach us online or on social media. We're at www.ithraair.com. Thanks for watching.